uh, this is uh, pretty awesome. So for those of you who don't know, my name is TJ. That's uh, actually short for Theodore. Uh, people always ask me why I got that name or how I got that name. I actually tell them that uh, my great grandma had an affair with FDR when he was in the wheelchair. He had the polio and shit. I bet that sex was fucking immaculate. <laughs> and I think about it too, like, my parents did me such a dishonor, like, naming me Theodore, because in school I was always called Ted. So think about it when you hear the name Ted, who do you think about? Ted Turner, Ted Bundy, Ted Kaczynski. Shut up. <laughs> but uh, when you sit there and think about it, like Ted Turner, a creepy old dude, Ted Bundy, a serial killer, Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, like I'm already behind the eight ball. Like they're already killing me. So uh, I'm sorry, you guys sitting in the corner, I, def I have to get you involved because you're going to be perfect for this bit I want to do. So uh, how are you guys doing tonight? You good? You good? What, what's your name, miss? Gina. Gina? Okay, well basically what I'm going to do for this next bit is, uh, is this still going to, alright. What I'm going to do for this next bit is, uh, me and my buddies, we love to smoke weed. Like, you know, it, it's like a ritual, like that's what you do as soon as you get together. But uh, we always think of like random ideas and then we just sit there and talk about it for me to come up with jokes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the microphone and I have a notebook over here and basically I want you to read what's on each page of the notebook. Will you do that? She's got to do it. It'll be a lot funnier if you do it. It's nothing directed at you. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Just take the mic. Luckily, we got plenty of time. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to flip the pages and then you read what's on every page. Will you do that? You already got the mic. You have to. Alright, so. <laughs> Burnout Diaries. Let's do it! It's only eight pages. They can't hear it. They don't know what's on there. <laughs> How many times of being anally penetrated makes you gay? <laughs> Why do people get upset when you go to the library to look at porn? I don't know. <laughs> if a woman says stop, <laughs> when do you punch her in the face? <laughs> Have you seen an Asian with cerebral palsy? <laughs> Do they sell you dildos at porn shops? <laughs> what about pawn shops? Still covered in discharge. <laughs> Why do animals always lick themselves? <laughs> then come on your leg. <laughs> If domestic violence ended, would cops still have a show? <laughs> when Sylvester Stallone masturbates, does he yell Adrian upon completion? <laughs> Do women celebrating Lent swallow on Fridays? <laughs> If God's everywhere, why isn't he on Facebook? <laughs> All right, give it up for Gina, everybody. That was fucking awesome. See, there you go. Eight pages, 17. It's all one and the same. So, uh, you guys pumped about football season? Fucking football season's coming up. Come on. Come on, tons of fun. You know you're pumped up for it. Come on, man. Well, obviously, I'm a Raiders fan. I'm assuming most of you guys are Bills fans, right? Who, who you guys like? You like Buffalo? Well, see, I think that's a joke in itself. Fuck you, Otis. Aww. <laughs>
<laughs> already dogging my boy McFadden. See, I think it's funny, though, because I'm so glad that Al Davis is finally dead. So now Ralph Wilson's the old fucking asshole that's making all the shitty moves. Like, normally it was Al Davis signing the washed-up veterans. Jerry Rice, Richard Seymour, Carson Palmer. And now it's Ralph Wilson, Sean Merriman, Mario Williams. Fuck, who's that, uh, who's that defensive end they signed from New England? You know, Mark Anderson, right? Yeah, well, if people are going to throw 90% of the time against the Patriots, of course he's going to get 10 and a half sacks. I mean, it's a fucking given. But uh, it, it'll be good, though, because just like me as a Raiders fan, like, I've already lost hope for the playoffs. So, because you guys got such a great team on paper, like, welcome to my world, 2000 to 2005. And uh, when all your starters in the front seven are hurt after week four, then, uh, you know, you can relate to my pain. But, uh, so are you guys a couple over here? How long have you guys been together? Two months. Nice. That's awesome. Well, uh, as a female, you know that when a man eats pineapple, it makes his semen taste better, right? There you go, I know that from personal experience. <laughs> Shh, it was a secret. But uh, I'm really shitty at relationships. Like, I suck at relationships. Like, uh, for example, I was speaking to this girl for a couple months, and uh, the relationship just ended because I was uh, in between texting a buddy of mine. Hey, shut the hell up over there. <laughs> If uh, I don't show up to McDonald's and fucking pester you while you're trying to, you know. So, just, yeah, well, I'm not visiting your mom's basement, you know, because I'm trying to do jokes, so shut up. And uh, so anyway, fucking... God damn it. All right, let me start over. So, uh... <laughs> Alright, so basically I'm in between texting this girl that I'm talking to and uh, a good friend of mine. And I'm basically texting her, so I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I text my buddy back and I'm like, uh, oh, so what are you doing, you fat asshole? You're about to order pizza, right? And uh, she had seen the text and she got pretty upset about it. So, uh, I, for some reason, I didn't know that women, you know, don't like it when you call them fat. But, uh, so are a lot of you guys here from Batavia? Anybody? Woo! Otis, I know you're from Batavia. <laughs> and, uh, it's bullshit that they have, like, what's there to do in this town? You have the Batavia Mall, right? Like, why do they even call it a mall? It has three active stores in it. Like, I think they're using that mall term a bit liberally. But Otis, being from Batavia, don't you get pissed off when the only thing people remember your town for is being the home of the bath salt wars? I could care less. No? You, that doesn't offend you at all? It keeps my job steady. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Job security. You, you gotta have it. Definitely. But, uh... I, I don't know, I mean, it, it just pisses me off because then I tell people, I'm like, at least we're not Aurora, Colorado. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you look at the statistics, there are three people in the state of Colorado that are currently on death row. All of them are from Aurora, Colorado. Like, that is I, interesting. Yeah, look it up. That is there interesting. You, you learn something. But uh, when I had first heard about the whole Batman movie theater shooting, like, the first thing I thought was, I fucking knew it, they come out with a new Batman every year, eventually somebody's gonna get pissed off. At first I thought it was Michael Keaton, like, just getting pissed, he was like, my Batman was the best. <laughs> but uh, then later I found out that the shooter was actually dressed up as Joker, so then I thought about it, and I'm, he probably sat through the whole movie, and then he was like, Fuck! Joker isn't even in this movie! I'm just gonna kill a bunch of people. <laughs> so, uh... The one, the one funny thing about Bass Salts, too, is you notice that, uh... 
there's been a lot of stories about people eating other people's faces with the cannibalism. You gotta admit, you kinda wanna try human a little bit. Don't you? What about you? Just a little bit? If it wasn't frowned upon in society, you wouldn't want to try it. Just one bite. Ah, uh, come on. It, it makes you think, though, like, if you wanted to eat human, like, how would you go about it? Would you eat, like, a fetus? I, I would think a homeless person would be better. But then again, if you think about it, like, at what temperature would you have to cook them for the AIDS to get killed? Like over an open fire, like is it an hour, hour and a half? <laughs> but, uh, and then I was telling this joke a couple weeks ago at a club, and uh, somebody came up to me and they're like, well, what do you think which meat would be best? And I'm like, well, obviously when somebody cooks a turkey, people don't run to the dark meat. I mean, obviously it would be white. I mean, think about Asians. All the documentaries, all the movies and shit you see about Asia, have you ever seen a cemetery? Just think about it. I know, it's shit's deep, right? You, all right, you got it. So, uh, Otis, actually I was hanging out with your brother last week, and uh, he asked me why I don't do more black racist jokes. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so then five minutes later, he's like, oh, I gotta go inside, man. I'm about to get a sunburn. I'm like, are you kidding? Like, he, you see Otis, like, he's like darker than Don Cheadle. Like, it's like a struck match over there. That's like me putting a burnt hot dog on a grill and be like, no, don't cook it anymore. It's gonna burn again. It's like an Asian person tanning, like, because you know how they have that yellow skin? Like, they have jaundice? Like, are they going to get more yellow? Like, I, I just don't understand the whole concept of that. I've seen it before. I know a black guy who goes a total tan. <laughs> really? Like, uh, do you want to come up here? I told you you could have just you could have just turned, oh, man. turned the game on and it would have been funny. <laughs> so uh, for the few people here that do know me, I'm uh, I'm actually working on a movie right now. I, I know, it's hard to believe, right? Right? You guys heard Toxic Avenger? I had a, par I had a party at my house. Yeah, well, oh, like, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually in a movie right now, and the fucked up thing was, too, is because I'm, uh... Uh, I'm featured background is what it's considered. So basically as you're looking at the main actors, I'm like, you know, in the background. But I like the way they throw featured in there because it makes you feel good. Like when I tell people like I'm in a movie, like if I just walked up to you guys and said like, I'm a featured background in a movie, like you'd be like fucking sweet, you know, good job, buddy. Well, you'd probably think I was like retarded, like I had Down syndrome, but good job, <laughs> like you'd be like whatever, you know, that's fucking awesome. But yeah, so I had to audition, and I only have two lines in this movie. Like, you, you guys want to hear my lines in this movie that I had to audition? Oh, you better brace yourself. Let me uh, let me just get into character. <sighs> Look at this Jap with her soup. Miso soup. Miso hungry. And then they wanted me to ad lib. So I threw in their, uh, how come all Asians run a right? <laughs> right? Right? That's good, right? And, uh, but yes, I had to audition for this part. And I ended up getting the part. And, uh, it, it was weird going up there initially because I had uh, gotten an email, uh, another comedian had forwarded a few of my videos to the, uh, the director, and so he had called me in for this huge role. And, uh, but the whole time going up there, I'm thinking like, because it's on the other side of Niagara Falls, and the shooting is like in the hood. So, uh, Otis, I'm sure a couple of your cousins are there. You got, you got fucking relatives everywhere. And, uh, so yeah, they, like, the whole time I'm thinking, like, man, if these motherfuckers are gonna rob me, like, they're gonna be pissed when they find out I only have four dollars on me. 
But then the whole time I'm thinking too, like, what if I go in there and it's just like a big empty building and they want to train me to like be a fucking spy, like triple X, like Vin Diesel? Like that'd be fucking sweet, right? But then, then I was like, the best would be if it was a sequel to like Bucky Larson. But in this movie, the chick's genitals are bigger than my penis. And she's got like this weird name, like ham wallet or gut locker. It just totally fucking puts me to shame. But hey guys, I went way over my time. I'm sorry, but uh, again, my name's TJ Saga. Check me out YouTube at Saga Size.